So what impact will the TPP, if approved, have on the world food system? Well, in part, we don't know. The TPP has been negotiated in secret, and uh, that's one of the, the great mysteries, is that we will have something that potentially can uh, eradicate everything from traditional family farms in Japan to uh, protections uh, on uh, food safety in other parts of the world. We have no idea uh, what the TPP will entail, and, and I think that that's, that's one of the, the great worries. I mean, I was in Japan a couple of years ago when there was a, a large protest by Japanese farmers um, who were very, very concerned about the removal of subsidies that allow them to be able to supply uh, the kind of rice uh, that, that Japanese consumers know and trust uh, and be part of a food culture that uh, unfortunately will, will, is the sort of thing that might be designated uh, an impediment to trade. Uh, and if culture becomes an impediment to, to trade, then trade will win under the TPP as far as we know right now. Uh, but that's the mystery. We are going to be subject to uh, a, a treaty in which corporations will be able to litigate against governments uh, and in which culture will be the, the, the great, great loser uh, and corporations will be the winner as far as we know. And th the problem in the TPP is it's one great mystery that's going to drop, drop on us from a great height and about which we will have very little say. Uh, and I think that's reason enough if you're concerned about what it is that goes into your mouth and you, and you want to know what's going into your mouth, then you want to know what's going into the treaties pretty much. And right now, um, the TPP is like one strange lump of mystery meat.